doing? What we're doing is you guys gotta practice sparring. <laughs> I'll try. I promise. All right. So the whole objective is to everything that you that you worked out in the wooden dummy, all the forms. The whole objective is to help you learn how to defend yourself. And because there's a lot of people here today, and different levels, it's like kind of like a a way to kind of build confidence in how to defend yourself. But you don't want to hurt the person that you're sparring with. You want to do it safely. So say if I'm doing a kill. I'm going to press a pair of PQ up with you guys and say, you know, you have an advantage. You don't want to hit him too hard, but, you know, say he does his kicks and his stuff like that. Then you just get out the way, see if you can find the openings, and just try to get him. And there's different people at different levels. It's going to be Keo, Angelina, uh, Brandon, Shanad, and, you know, Jacqueline, and Seagull. So everybody's going to be at different levels. Try to just, like, ease into it. Practice not getting hit and hitting back, but you don't have to hit them that hard, okay? So let's just go with that. So we'll have Shanad and Kiel first. Uh, oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> what are your shoes? I need to get some. Okay. Uh, Shanad and Angelina then. Uh, Angelina. <laughs> Alright, so just keep practicing those techniques, okay? okay. Do a little, just a little content. It doesn't have to be a lot of content, just a little bit is good enough. Alright, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then when it comes to the face, just have an open hand. The body, you can make this if you want. I heard that your dad said, beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's fine Back in face. <clears throat> So then, like, most of the time, if you're going to get in a fight, they're usually going to go through your face. Mm -hmm. So you want to try to, like, simulate those to try to get her so she can get used to blocking up there. I think Angelina sometimes...
goes too much to the legs, she doesn't go anything up here. Okay. But you're, what you're doing good, you're, you're going for the face, you're making them block, for, you're making them block up top. Okay. But they're not doing the same for you, they don't go <laughs> to the face enough, and it's not teaching you to, to block up top. Right. So basically, like, just even out all the attacks. Sometimes go low, sometimes go medium, sometimes go high. Don't just go low all the time. It's not realistic. Okay? Ready? Just keep going. Go. <laughs> go for the body, go for the body. <laughs> He's a little firecracker. <laughs> People said not to go hard. <laughs> So the benefit of you is that you don't, you know, he's, he's a lot smaller. It can help you get better without having fear that you're going to get hurt. Right. And then for him, the benefit is working with somebody bigger and then them learning how to, to get a little bit more intense. Mm -hmm. So, like, once you start getting more hits in there, then you'll be like, all right, let me just not hit him so hard so he doesn't get hurt. Right. And then for him, he's got to, like, intensify a little bit so, to give you a challenge. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like... But once you start going against people who have more experience, you gotta be more careful mm -hmm. as you progress. All right, take a break. Ooh, we'll have a yeah, that was <laughs> Jacqueline and Angelina. Angelina. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's good. That was Jacqueline, good. Jacqueline now has to learn how to control because she doesn't want to hurt Angelina. Jacqueline goes hard a lot. Yes, like, she does. Quick. So what she has to learn is control against the people that are smaller. And then once you go against people that are your size, then you can go how you normally go. So the same thing with Brandon. I have to teach him how to go softer. I mean, he goes too hard on some, some people. So like when you do this, the smaller people, try to do softer. The people that are your size, then, then go do what you need to do, right? So this is part of your training to get a little softer. But still, don't let her hit you, right? Mm -hmm. And still, like, try to get your hits in, but don't hit them that hard. That means block your face. <laughs> oh, now I gotta work on that. Yeah, don't just block either. You gotta tap too. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you ran right into her fist. That's ideal. There you go. <laughs> your kicks and try to get her head level, okay, with your kicks. So All right, go. Kick the baby in the head, in other words. <laughs> <laughs> That's a locker, too. Give my job some stuff. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Remember the block. Baby through so, the door. <laughs> you can touch them, them on the door, but don't hurt them if you can, okay? Yeah. Control your face and your punches. Okay. Alright, go. <sighs> You're so long, oh my god. <laughs>
I'm just, I'm just gonna hit her a little bit. Not. I know it's hard. It's called control. Yeah, control. Yeah, like that. That's fine. Okay. Just step to the side, let them fly through the air. Go! <laughs> 
Safe but like bones of steel. Oh, my God. 
Watch out. Trinity. Oh, what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, like, the whole objective, we want to learn as much as we can, but we want to keep each other safe, you know? Like, so the more that we do this, the more that you'll build confidence, the more you have control over your techniques. And just think about it, like, when you're going against, when you're going against, like, Keo or Angelina, you have control. So you, if you don't want to have more experience, then you have to learn how to control who you're going with. But once you start sparring against somebody that has the same level of experience, then it can get kind of dangerous, you know? And then we gotta be very careful. So, but when you're, this is an opportune moment for Trinity to teach Angelina to get better so that she can learn how to like, take it more serious. And then she has to learn how to control herself against somebody who's smaller. But when she starts, Trinity yeah, say, has to yeah. control herself. <laughs> say, if I, if I pair uh, Trinity up with Brandon as far, about the same height, he's getting stronger. This is not going to be, you know, it's going to be kind of more dangerous. So now it becomes very important that you really get out the way and you, you take it more serious, you know. Because even like, I think, uh, even uh, when, when, when Jacqueline was sparring against um, Angelina, if she didn't get out the way, she could have sidekicked her to the nose. But she got out the way. So like everything you have to take very serious when you're sparring against somebody is good. You just, you have to move out the way to not get hit. Like luckily she wasn't hitting you hard, yeah. but then she was exposing you. Right. Like you would come in and then your face is wide open. She's like, bam, right? right? But you didn't get hurt, but she's teaching you, hey, you know, get your hands up, right? But the one and dummy is not going to tell you that. The one and dummy is going to be like, hey, not, hey, get your hands up. I keep trying to train you, get your hands up, get your hands up. When you sparring, they're going to teach you to get your hands up because they keep tagging you. Right. And it's not their fault because they're exposing your weakness. But if they hit you like really hard, then yeah, you know, yeah. they shouldn't be hitting you that hard. Alright, so let's go. <laughs> oh, wait. First time ever, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Just kill. Oh. Yeah, just kill. Bye. <laughs> Go. Oh, oh and I'm just kidding. Kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my bad. Okay. Okay, this needs to breathe. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Mmm. <laughs> Work your cardio, too. Yeah. Got a little monkeys in here. <laughs> Woo!
the grass the opportunity to do this when we can because we don't do it that often. But this is what all the training is supposed to lead towards. Build the confidence to be able to defend yourself. Okay. So we're all family here. We're not trying to hurt each other. It's not in anybody's benefit to hurt each other. But we want to teach each other. So the people that have been here longer, Trinity, Jacqueline, you're going to help Shana get better. You're going to help the kids that are younger get better. You know, and when you spar with somebody that has less experience, you know, and they're smaller, you have to control yourself. You can't hurt them. Okay. So you got to match them where they're at. You know, and then um, the people. It's very important. You gotta be able to spar against people that are smaller than you, and you gotta be able to spar against people bigger than you. Because just think about the people that are bigger than you, what they have to deal with when they have to control themselves when they're working with you. So then it goes both ways. You control yourself against somebody smaller, and the person that's bigger than you controls themselves when they're working with you. So me and Seagull, for example, have to control ourselves when we spar against anybody because you know, you know, we don't want to hurt the person, right? But if they want to keep coming with more aggression. That we match them at that aggression. So it's just it's just like this, you know. You go on the weight machine and you decide how much weight that you put. You decided that. If I went and you did the bench press, you want to put 200 pounds. Hey, you hurt yourself. Hey, you know, <laughs> but you know, like if you come over here and then you you want to spar harder. Like it's basically you you hit them hard and they hit you just as hard. It's not their fault. You you hit them just as hard. But if you don't want to get hit hard, then don't hit them hard. Hit them soft and they'll hit you soft. So it just goes back and forth, and there's no there's no issues there, you know. So as you get better, there's going to be a little bit more contact. It's going to be a little bit faster. It's going to be a little bit more power, and it's going to look a little bit more real. Like you see, Brandon and Jacqueline, they end up getting on the ground. It's like real, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they're like really going at it, and that's because they're both like very like a challenging strength level. Like if I had them both arm wrestle, they're really trying, and it's very like apparent that this is a challenge. But if I had Jacqueline go against um, Keo, she would just beat him right there because it's not a challenge for her. But if she goes against Brandon, that's a challenge. Same thing with the spar. If they don't watch out, they could accidentally hurt each other. So even when uh, Jacqueline was doing you, if she, if she hits a little too hard, you get hurt. So you know, luckily she controls it a little bit. She has to work in control. Brandon has to work in control. Even Seagull needs to work in control. You gotta learn how to control against people that you have more experience with. Otherwise, if you don't have control, then nobody can spar with you. Because I'm afraid that if I pair you up, that pair them up with you, they're gonna, you're gonna hurt them. And then now they can't get better, and you can't get better because you have no one to spar with. The only way you're gonna get better is if you keep sparring with a bunch of different people, and then you just build confidence because you sparred so many times with so many people, and then you're really confident in what you do because you, you've done it so many times and you're just confident, you're capable. Every time they throw attacks, you're blocking, you're dodging. And I see the kids, they're learning how to get out the way against bigger people. Like they're kicking at them, they're moving out the way. They're punching, they're blocking. It's looking really good for them. So the adults, the problem I don't do this often is because I'm afraid that you guys might hurt each other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I gotta, you know, I gotta build past that fear. And the way that I do it, I have the adults spot with the kids. Cause now, hey, you know, you don't gotta worry about them hurting you. They're like half your size. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but if I spar, have you guys spar against each other all the time? Somebody might catch a blow, and then somebody gets hurt. So we gotta kind of build up to have that control. Okay. But everybody did great. Okay. Um, let's, have, let's have a quick.